Ever thought a seemingly dumb idea could make you a millionaire? Welcome to the intriguing world of entrepreneurship where the line between genius and bizarre is often blurred. Today we're diving into the realm of unconventional business ideas that have not only made headlines but also fortunes. From a pixel-selling website to a platform where secrets are shared anonymously, we're about to embark on a journey that showcases the power of creativity, innovation, and a dash of madness. We'll discover how personal heartbreak sparked a marketplace for used engagement rings and how the sale of novelty fake teeth turned into a multi-million dollar business. These stories bear testament to the fact that sometimes the most unusual ideas can carve out a unique space in the market and lead to substantial profits. So buckle up and get ready to explore a world where creativity, innovation, and a dash of madness collide to create million-dollar businesses. Imagine selling pixels on a web page and making a fortune. That's exactly what Alex Tu did with the million-dollar homepage. This groundbreaking venture was as simple as it was unique. Tu set up a web page featuring a million pixels and sold each one as ad space for a dollar. The concept was novel and it caught the attention of the internet. Soon, businesses, big and small, were clamoring to buy pixels and be a part of this viral phenomenon. The web page became a mosaic of ads, each pixel representing a piece of the internet's commercial landscape. From its inception in 2005, the million dollar homepage grossed over a million dollars. A testament to the power of viral internet phenomena, the million dollar homepage demonstrated that even the most unconventional ideas can lead to substantial profits. A pixel-sized idea with a million-dollar impact. The million-dollar homepage remains a fascinating case study in unique business and innovation. What if sharing secrets could become a booming business? This is exactly what Frank Warren, the brain behind the Post Secret Project, wondered. He conceived an innovative platform where people could share their deepest, darkest secrets anonymously. It was a simple idea, yet it tapped into a profound human need for confession and connection. As people began to share their secrets, the blog gained traction. It evolved from a mere website to a cultural phenomenon. The secrets were heart-wrenching, hilarious, shocking, and everything in between. They struck a chord with readers resonating with their own hidden truths. The blog's popularity led to a series of books, each one a curated collection of secrets. It also opened doors to public speaking engagements for Warren. This unique venture demonstrated the power of authenticity and the human connection in a digitized world. It's a testament to the fact that sometimes a secret shared is a fortune earned. Who'd think heartbreak could lead to a successful business? Well, that's exactly what happened to Josh Opperman. When a broken engagement left him with a ring he couldn't return for its full value, he saw a gap in the market. He created I Do Now I Don't, a platform for selling used engagement rings, turning his personal misfortune into an innovative business venture. Opperman's platform offers a lifeline for those stuck with rings from broken engagements, providing an opportunity to recoup some of their losses. It's also a treasure trove for bargain hunting romantics, seeking beautiful rings at a fraction of their original price. I do now I don't proves that even in the world of entrepreneurship, heartbreak can be a catalyst for innovation. It demonstrates how identifying a niche market and providing a solution to a widespread problem can create a profitable business model. In the world of business, even heartbreak has a silver lining. Ever heard of a business built on selling fake teeth? Welcome to the world of Billy Bob Teeth a venture that cashed in on the appeal of humor and the unexpected. Here's an idea that might initially make you chuckle, but when you learn about the profits it has raked in, you might just sit up straight. Two college buddies, Jonah White and Rich Bailey, started this venture back in the 90s. The concept was simple yet novel. Create a line of funny novelty teeth. You might think, who would buy such a thing? Well, apparently a lot of people. From Halloween enthusiasts to, to gag gift lovers, Billy Bob Teeth found an eager audience. The business quickly grew. And before they knew it, these teeth were selling in over 150 countries. In the end, the Billy Bob Teeth venture is a shining example of how even the most offbeat ideas can turn into lucrative businesses. It's all about spotting a unique opportunity and running with it. A million dollar smile, literally. 
Would you believe someone made money off flatulence odor? Well, buckle up, because flat D-pads did precisely that. Dealing with a subject most people would rather not discuss, flat D-pads identified a niche market with a very practical problem. The company developed a solution to combat the unpleasant odor associated with flatulence. This innovative solution was a thin, activated charcoal pad worn inside the underwear that worked by neutralizing smells before they escaped. It's a simple yet genius solution to a common yet rarely addressed issue. This unconventional enterprise tapped into a market that was virtually untouched, turning a subject that's usually the butt of jokes into a serious business venture. The success of flat D-pads proves that sometimes it's the ideas that make us giggle or even cringe that end up making a fortune. So, next time you encounter an embarrassing problem, remember this. It could just be your ticket to success. Turning embarrassing problems into profitable solutions. Who knew picking up after pets could be a money spinner? Welcome to the world of Pet Butler, the business that turned a nose-wrinkling task into a thriving service industry. Pet waste removal may not seem like a glamorous endeavor, but it's an essential one for many pet owners. Pet Butler saw a need and stepped in to provide a solution, quite literally. Imagine this, a professional team equipped with all the necessary tools, dedicated to keeping your yard clean and your pets happy. That's Pet Butler for you. They've capitalized on the fact that, while pet ownership is a joy, cleaning up after them is a chore that many would rather outsource. And in doing so, they've found a way to make a neat profit from a less than neat job. Pet Butler is a shining example of entrepreneurial success that has emerged from the less glamorous needs of our day-to-day -day lives. A dirty job, but someone's gotta do it and make a fortune. What if sending messages on potatoes could be a business? That's the question that sparked Potato Parcel, a venture that's as unusual as it is successful. Imagine this. You want to send a message, but you're tired of traditional methods. So, you choose a potato. That's right, a spud, a tuber. You pen your message, and voila, it's ready to be shipped. Potato Parcel took this quirky concept and turned it into a thriving business, capitalizing on the element of surprise and the sheer novelty of the idea. It's a perfect example of thinking outside the box, of innovating within the confines of the postal system. What started as a joke has ended up carving a unique space in the market, demonstrating that sometimes it's the most unconventional ideas that can resonate with people and lead to substantial profits. And remember, sometimes the key to success is as simple as a potato. Can wearing a shirt be a million dollar idea? You might be surprised to know that it can be. This is the story of I Wear Your Shirt, a unique marketing venture that turned a simple idea into a profitable business. The concept was straightforward and yet innovative. The founder, Jason Sadler, decided to wear a different company's branded t-shirt each day and promote it on social media. He literally wore his endorsement, making the brands he represented a part of his everyday life. In return, companies paid him for this personal and engaging form of advertising. As the demand grew, so did the price tag, starting from a dollar and reaching up to a thousand dollars per day. This venture showed us that sometimes all it takes is a simple idea, a dash of creativity and a willingness to step outside the conventional, wearing your business on your sleeve, quite literally. Ever thought of selling fresh air? Well, the folks at Vitality Air did. In a world where pollution is a pressing issue, this innovative company found a way to turn clean air into a commodity. They started bottling fresh air from pollution-free zones in Canada and selling it to heavily polluted areas across the globe where fresh air is a luxury. This unique business model capitalizes on an essential natural resource creatively addressing a global environmental concern. Vitality Air's success is a testament to the demand for clean air and their clever approach to providing a solution is not only profitable, but also raises awareness about the importance of environmental sustainability. So while many might initially laugh off the idea of selling bottled air, the success of Vitality Air proves that even the most unconventional ideas can lead to substantial profits. This company is literally breathing in success one bottle at a time. How about shipping snow to warm places for a living? Yes, you heard it right. In the world of unique business ideas, Ship Snow Yo stands out as an example of how entrepreneurial innovation can transform 
a common weather nuisance into a highly desired product. This clever venture started in the winter-laden state of Massachusetts, where snow is much more of a hassle than a novelty. But for those in sunnier, snowless climates, the idea of a white winter is nothing short of magical. Ship snow. Yo capitalizes on this by delivering hand-packed snow from the frosty peaks of New England right to your doorstep. Whether it's for a unique gift, a cool party idea, or just the joy of experiencing a snowball fight in the middle of July, this business has turned the tables on the snowy inconvenience. It's an inventive way to share wintry experiences nationwide, proving that even the most unconventional ideas can become a snowball of an idea that turned into a blizzard of success. And finally, who'd have thought of selling a travel kit to heaven? Yes, you heard it right, folks. There's a business out there that's taken the phrase heavenly goods to a whole new level. This venture offers a humorous take on religious merchandise, selling a kit that promises tongue firmly in cheek, of course, a spot in heaven. The kit is a playful combination of items designed to tickle the funny bone more than anything else. It's a simple concept, but it's caught the attention of many. Why? Because it's unique, it's daring, and it's downright hilarious. This business serves as a prime example of how the entrepreneurial spirit can take the most outlandish ideas and turn them into a reality. It just goes to show that there's a market for almost anything, and sometimes the crazier the idea, the better it sells. So remember, in the world of business, even the sky isn't the limit.